Star Tours 1401, you are cleared for departure. Initiate takeoff sequence. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, where today we'll be taking a look at LEGO Star Wars Set 7678, the droid gunship that was released in July of 2008 in the very first wave of Clone Wars sets. This uh, set contains 329 pieces and 3 minifigs, which are these battle droids right here. Uh, back in 2008, you're looking about $30 is the general price for this set. And that rounds that, and the math uh, comes in at about nine cents per piece, which for back in 2008 is pretty good. If you're looking to get one of these sets today, for used, it's probably going to be around forty dollars, and if you're looking for a new sale on box, it's going to be anywhere from like seventy to eighty dollars. That being said, this is a really cool set, so let's get into it by starting off with these battle droid minifigures. All right, so like I just said in the last clip, um. The, the only three minifigures in the set are battle droids, and they're pretty much the exact same figure. So this is the one that there's two of it, uh, the battle droid with one straight arm and one curved arm. Also with the black medium-sized blaster there. So, as all battle droid minifigures, most of them, again, have one of these curved arms and one of the straight arms. And they all usually have, you know, this medium-sized blaster. All built from these tan Lego battle droid pieces that have been used for a long time here. So you stud on the back, you put a little backpack, and the head mold is pretty nice. The only difference in one of the battle droids in the set is that it has a second curved arm piece on this side, so it has double curved arm pieces. That's really all that we're looking at here today with the minifigures for this set, so let's go ahead and start looking at the actual droid gunship itself. Just before we start looking into some of the stuff about the ship itself, I just wanted to show a quick scale of how this set measures in size. This is just a normal size minifigure here, and you can definitely see that it is pretty big. Um, this is not a small set at all in the size of it. Now, we also do have to notice that this back part here is pretty flat, like only a brick or two. Uh, I don't know how you say high. And this front part's a little, a little bit more, you know, built up. But this is just kind of a quick scale of how this would relate to a minifigure, just to show you how big it really is. So now it's time to look at the ship itself. This set, this ship is just amazing. The Just some of the building details from for 2008 are pretty good on this set. And I think it's just all together are just a really nice set to have. And like if you're a Lego collector like me, you know, getting a set like this is pretty nice. So I think, let's go ahead and we'll start up here at the front area, the cockpit of it. Start on the outside. Up front here we have this uh, very large blaster cannon here. It's very long, as you see. It can move up and down here. It's kind of annoying because it moves around a lot and it's kind of flimsy. Next over here we do have two ball turrets, which I've actually never experienced these before this set. On some sets, like the 2008 Republic gunship, uh, these ball turrets are very unstable and they will fall out. But on this set, I've never experienced these fall out. Although it is kind of hard to move these balls at some point to move around these other little laser cannons. On the front here, we can definitely see that there's this these red transparent bricks to kind of mimic like a um, you call it like a windshield almost, like a viewing area for the driver. And down, and there's all there's also these little details on the side for the ball turrets. If you look up top on the hatch piece, there's just some more detailing up here. And to lift and to get inside, you just go ahead and lift this up. And there's space in here for one battle droid minifigure. So I'm gonna grab the one here that doesn't have a blaster. And all you gotta do is just stick him in there. There's no control piece. He just lays down there pretty nicely. Close it up, and now he's in there. So that's pretty cool. It's just a little area you can store a battle droid. If you look down here on the bottom, there's these two claw pieces. You can move these out, and these act as part of the landing gear. So that's pretty nice that like it included some retractable landing gear in this set, so you can have it stand up better. Now that's really all for the front part. Um, I'm gonna switch clips, and we'll move off to the back over here. Okay, I moved the camera up here just to give a little bit of a better visual here. But look up here at the top. This back part is made by these four large UFO-shaped pieces from some earlier space sets. 
And there's just a really nice part usage to see for this set. On the side here, we have these little uh, cannons. They don't really do that much. You can move them up and down here. But other than that, they're just there. They don't do anything else. Uh, there's this central thing, which we'll talk about here in a minute. There's a couple sticker pieces there, 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 and there, and there. Those are the only stickers in the set. There's only six stickers in this set, which is very, very nice to see. All the rest of this is just plain old bricks, and that's really nice to see. Um, there's also these little cone pieces up here. I'm not really sure what these are supposed to represent. They might be supposed to be other cannons and stuff. If we flip this over, though. Well, actually, let's look at the back. There's really nothing on the back here. It's just these uh, engine stickers on the back pieces that add a little bit extra detail. On the bottom, in the back, we have two more of these landing gear things that hold down with these claws. Again, really nice that there's retractable landing gear. I wish they would do that on way more sets. And then here, we have the main play feature of the set. So let's look at that now. So I moved up this turret here on the side, and we're now looking here at the bottom for the main play feature, which are these missiles here. Now, a, mod a modification that I have made to my set is I had I have added these two little Technic pieces here, one on the side and one on the other side, to keep these missiles from falling off, because if I just take this off, those are just going to fall off all the time, and it's, like, really, really annoying when I'm, like, trying to move the set around or put it in, like, a box or something to store it. That's really annoying. So I just want I and I just found these out of extra piece bag. I keep all my the extra parts from LEGO sets, and I just found two pieces out of some of my extra parts, and I just threw them on there, and this works so great because now these don't come off. But basically, the premise of how this play feature works is, so for it to work, you turn this part up here, and what that essentially does is turns this piece, which has this band to snap it back when it's done. This pulls on these two axle pieces, which then in turn, pull out from under here and these come out so if I just take so if I take this side this will still come off even if these jumper plates are on so if I take this guy off here real quick you'll see what will happen is I'm up here I'm gonna turn this and I don't know if you can see it but that thing is moving moving in that axle and then dropping the missiles off there so it's supposed to be a sort of, sort of a bombing system i think it's intended to work a bit better than it does but i'm going to show you how to use it a little bit better now all right so i've rehooked up my missiles here actually i had to fix it uh on the other side because if you keep your little uh, plates on there to keep or technic pieces to keep the missiles from sliding out it will break the system and your axle will come out with the spinning part in the middle but now I'm going to show you what this looks like if you just have all of them to drop at once. So I'm going to turn this. And they're all supposedly... You see, the, the system's a little bit finicky, but they all drop off. And they're all down here. And, you know, you explode your enemy forces or whatever. But other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it for the ship. And that's really pretty much almost the entirety of the review there. Because, I mean... Whilst it is a nice set, it's uh, kind of lacking a lot of stuff. So, let's go ahead and finish up. So, really quickly here before we uh, finish up, I just wanted to show off the instruction manual here. It's nice. There's that nice column trooper print on it. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much just an instruction manual. So, the printing is, like, just uh, gray, which is kind of nice. But really, what we want to do is come to the back here. Is obviously part list, but then it shows. Then there's these pictures, which I feel like they don't really include too much in your Lego sets anymore. That's like show the features. I feel like they don't include those anymore, but these are you know, and they had they're this older 2008 style too, which is kind of nice. And then they're showing us some other sets like the Magna Guard Starfighter, the V19 Tor, I think, uh, Public Gunship, ATTE. And then just some other sets back from 2008. Like you got the, uh, what's that called? The AT-AP, which actually think would go really well with the set since the droid gunship is seen on Kashyyyk. You got uh, Anakin Starfighter there, the very first Clone Wars set, some other small sets, you know. 
And then an ad for the Lego Corp magazine. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, and then it talks about the see. It's like stuff that's like this, because like now it's just like a picture, like a minifigure on the back. But like they used to like put these like cool pictures of the sets and stuff. I don't know. Sometimes Lego products are just really better when they were older. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to like my final thoughts about the set. Alright, so my final thoughts about the set. I think back in the day in 2008, this set is probably a good $30 worth value. It's a very nice set. I think it's a great set for both, you know, kids to play with. And I also think it's a great set for adults to collect it. I just Overall, it's just a very nice and good Star Wars Lego set. Now, if we got something like this today, I feel like it wouldn't really live up to today's standards. And obviously, today, if we got it, it would not be $30. If we got this set today, I mean, like the last two iterations of this was like, I think they were like $45 and $50. Like, we would definitely be seeing this set at at least $40. So, I mean, if this set was out today, would people buy it? Yes, but not as much as some of the other sets. I think overall, from a minifig selection on this set, I think over, the minifigures are great in this set. You know, you get, you get, like, a good number of battle droids for what this set is, and the fact that, you know, you can really only have one minifigure in there. Would this set have been better with more battle droids? I think yes. I think maybe if they would have added, like, just one or two more battle droids for the weapons there, I think that could have been great. Or if they would have added, like, one or two super battle droids, again, would have been great. I think one thing that I would say that would could make this set a bit better is maybe if they took the set and they made it about $5 more and they added it in, like, a bark speeder and a clone trooper minifigure. Maybe it's like, I don't know, uh, like, maybe like a commander clone trooper, but one that isn't as rare. Maybe it's in a different set. I don't know. But I think that's one thing that could make this set better, is if, you know, this had something to fight against. Because nowadays in more LEGO Star Wars sets, they're having it where, yes, there's the thing that you're paying for. So maybe it's like, like, take the Final Force Battle Pack, pa Battle Pack, for example. You have what you're getting. You, know, you want the Final Force Troopers and their vehicles, but you're also getting two battle droids for them to fight against. You know, back in some of these sets, it's really more of a, well, you're, you got the droid gunship, here's the droid gunship, there's nothing else. Which, I mean, I think is fine. But, you know, I don't know, this is my opinion. My opinion is that I just think they can make it a bit better. Overall, if they're going to make the droid gunship better, I think they could just do a bit more detailing in the back section, especially on the bottom, probably even a bit more on the top, even up here in the front, I think it should just use a bit more detailing, but other than that, I mean, I really think this is just overall a good set, probably worth your money if you want to buy it, I would dec definitely recommend buying it used, um, unless you really need it sealed, um, I feel like this isn't quite a set that I feel like would say is worth spending $80 on a sealed one just to build it. But yeah, overall, nice set, and that's pretty much my opinions on the set, so uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick, uh, I don't know, I don't know how quick it is, this review video of the LEGO 2008 Droid Gunship. Um, if you'd like to see maybe me review a certain set, uh, leave a suggestion down in the comment section. Um, I will try to look at those. And, um, I'll try to get that set and review it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys ha all have a great day. See you later.